Hello, my name is Andrew Hun, and our group focus on the gender and power issues. By using Orba's article on bustling ballying babes and not just disappearing with Shoujo, our group focuses on the relationship between the power and gender identity existence in famous Japanese media and the gender ideals of the target audience and of, of each different one. The purpose of these medias are to capture a certain population, and the means to do this is through the their yayas. Our group has used Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Revolutionary Go Utena, Gonsinger Go, and Howl's Weaving Castle. We have focused on the protagonist characters of each one in order to relate them to BBB and Disappearing Shoujo and also how it reflects that audience ideals. Final Fantasy VII has a huge video gamer population that has been fans of this series for many years. These people are typically male video gamers that have played the game when they were young. The protagonist that seems to be the one that people would identify with was Cloud. Despite not being a babe, he shared a great deal of characteristics that represent it. In the film, Cloud, despite being having to be a shonen character, does not fulfill his role as a man who saves the world, but he runs away from his duties. This somewhat makes him seem more of a shorter character. However, he transforms or disappears into a shonen character when he finally realizes that he must fight in order to save the world and protect his nakama. By seeing class transformation, it may fulfill the ayahs of these boys that want to become a real man and fight to save the world and get laid in the end. Interestingly, Revolutionary Girl Utena is quite the opposite of Final Fantasy. The main protagonist Utena, who is a female character that represents a typical BBB. She is a male in a female's body. However, she changes into a woman or a children character when she heads to the other world by transforming into a car. This represents her reign wanting to become accepted as who she is. This is key to noticing that there is a huge switch from shonenness to shoujo-ness of the character. The audience that the animation tries to fill the ayahs are usually women. These women also want to feel accepted into a certain group in society and struggle with acceptance. And through the animations, they escape this problem by identifying themselves with Utena. While other audiences such as perverted mood men may just view Utena just as a BBB. The third one we use was Glenn Singer Girl. Like Utena, the protagonists of this story are female girls who are half robot and half human girl. But on the other hand, the focus audience are boys. How do these female girls fill up the ayahs of these boys? First of all, Henry Rita, one of the main protagonists, is a shoujo character in a shonen atmosphere. The transformation does not take place in the story as a scene but as a dialogue. They start as normal girls, but unfortunately become cyborgs. She is just slapped with a gun and is supposed to be called a shonen character. However, she has emotions that represent shoujo-ness, like wanting to love and be loved, and also having an inner struggle of fitting in due to being unique. And also not to mention that she is drawn as a shoujo character. Due to such presentation of a shoujo character in a shonen manga, boards are to collect these girls like Pokemon. These girls are perfect for the ayahs of these boys because they are not yet older men and therefore can't protect the girl, so they would rather have a girl protect them. And at the same time, be unconditionally loved. And also these girls are perfect because they are drawn in a cute way that would fit the age range of these audiences. Other audience groups such as females would not find much character or interesting parts of these characters because they do not they do not represent their yayas. Finally, Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle was chosen. She is also not a typical BBB due to her lack of kung fu skills or cleavage. But of course, she also shares characteristics of a shonen character in that she is constantly fighting and trying to save the world. She starts out as a shoujo character and that has low self-esteem and is given a boring duty to take care of the family hat shop. However, she transforms when she is turned into an old lady. She suddenly becomes less of a shoujo character and gradually builds up into a shonen character that is dependent on and that is dependent independent and has a fighting spirit. This fulfills the ayahs of a girl goes in that there is a female protagonist that has no fear and saves people and at the same time gets laid by the cute guy. 
But in the end, she transforms again into a shorter character when she flies away into the sky with Howl. This, this on the other hand, may fulfill the ideas of boys in that they may see the opposite of the girls. Howl has won the goal, and Sophie becomes a prize for him. She suddenly is viewed fully as a, an attractive woman. It is interesting to see that the film was approached this way because our target audience are a wide range of people and in order to fill all the yayas, one character must fill the role of a hybrid character that constantly changes when the audience needs them too. Our conclusion is that different representation of the badly busting babes and disappearing children in each media reflects upon the yayas of the target consumer and their view upon gender and power. In our definition, we believe Napier's concept and of the disappearing shoujo meant going through a transformation. All four, all four manga anime differ in portraying BBB in disappearing shoujo. This is most likely due to the difference in audience and fulfilling their yayas. An older audience desires a BBB to be illustrated as busty, while a younger audience has female characters that reflect shoujo characteristics, like big eyes. When, f when film, manga, and video games are just opposed, one can see that there is a huge difference in how each BBB character is viewed and disappear. In the end, these characters mirror the ideals of the audience in terms of gender and power. Thank you.